Welcome to the Wide 4 Canadian video series. My name is Tina Eichstedt, Senior Product Manager at Pearson. I'm here today in this episode with Emma Walton, who is one of our assessment consultants in Canada. Welcome, Emma. Thanks, Tina. Hi, everybody. It's great to have another episode here specifically on our topic of the day, which is automated essay scoring. There's been a ton of buzz around uh, professionals in Canada about what this might mean. So Emma, can you tell us a little bit about the process of the automated essay scoring and how it works? Absolutely, it's definitely one of the most exciting updates coming with the Wyatt Four. So in terms of administration, the examinee will handwrite their essay in their response booklet, just as they did with the Wyatt Three. The examiner will then transcribe that essay exactly as it's written into either Q Global or Q Interactive. And the essay is then submitted and scored by Pearson's Intelligent Essay Assessor, or IEA. IEA was trained utilizing the Wyatt Three essays, and it will automatically complete scoring of the essay within seconds. That sounds fantastic. I can see why there's been quite the buzz on this to date as people are getting ready for our new release. Let me ask a second question, Emma. How is the reliability on this automated essay scoring? Yes, so a very important question. This was carefully considered while this was being developed. Automated scores were compared to hand score results and no advantage or bias was found. These two methods, so the automated scoring and the hand scoring were found to share a very strong correlation about 0.95. That's great. That'll be reassuring to a lot of professionals that may be considering using this new subtest with this new automation. Emma, one last question for you, and really this compares the two versions of the Wyatt 4 Canadian. The difference between the Wyatt 4 Canadian and the Wyatt 3 Canadian for this subtest. What can you tell us about the differences? For sure. So there are some similarities, but this has changed. With the Wyatt 4 Canadian, grammar and mechanics now is the primary foundation for scoring. Previously, grammar and mechanics was a supplemental score, supplemental scores with the Wyatt 3. Specifically to grammar and mechanics, the scoring rules have not changed. It's just that these now become the primary foundation for that scoring piece. Uh, word count, as well as the content and organization scores from the three, are no longer included in the four. Instead, though, there is a supplemental qualitative analysis that will be available. This analysis includes a rubric looking at content, theme development, and organization, uh, but no score will be provided through that rubric. The reason for these changes being the strong reliability. So grammar and mechanics strongly correlates with overall writing quality and has a high clinical sensitivity. The best advice we can give here to examiners is be sure to read your manual. We, we know you all love doing that anyway, but be sure to read your manual so that you understand what's underlying the score that the IEA is producing. That's great. Thanks, Emma. Always read your manual, and this will be one of those especially all Rose read your manual in this case, which is great. Thanks for the detail and the content, and as always, for your thought leadership in this space. Thanks to everybody for watching this episode of the Wyatt 4 Canadian video series. We hope to see you on a future episode. Have a great day.